Felix Martin, Julius Steiner, 1896, 1966, was a highly decorated and influential German officer who played a significant role in the military events of the 20th century, particularly during World War II. Born on May 23, 1896 in Stolopon in East Prussia, now Nesterov, Russia, Steiner's military career spanned several decades and encompassed various roles within the German armed forces. Steiner began his military service during World War I, where he served as an officer in the Imperial German Army. Despite the challenges and chaos of the First World War, Steiner's leadership skills and tactical acumen became apparent, earning him recognition and paving the way for a promising military career. After the war, during the interwar period, Steiner remained in the military and joined the paramilitary organisation known as the Freikorps. This group played a significant role in the tumultuous post-war years, engaging in various conflicts and counter-revolutionary activities. Steiner's experiences in the Freikorps honed his leadership abilities and provided him with valuable insights into unconventional warfare. As Adolf Hitler rose to power in the early 1930s, Steiner aligned himself with the National Socialist regime. His loyalty to the Nazi party and his military expertise led to his appointment as the commander of the SS Standard Deutschland, a unit within the infamous Schutzstaffel. Steiner quickly rose through the ranks and became one of Heinrich Himmler's trusted subordinates. During the early stages of World War II, Steiner distinguished himself in various campaigns, demonstrating tactical prowess and leadership skills. He played a crucial role in the invasions of Poland and France, earning commendations for his achievements on the battlefield. In 1941, he was promoted to the rank of SS Obergruppenführer, reflecting his growing influence within the SS. Steiner's most notable contribution came during the later stages of the war, when he was appointed as the commander of the newly formed Waffen-Ess unit, the EII Germanic Cesspanzer Corps. This corps, often referred to as the SS Division Viking, was comprised of volunteer troops from various European countries who fought alongside the German forces on the Eastern Front. Despite Steiner's military prowess, the Waffen SS and its association with war crimes have tarnished his legacy. The division under his command was implicated in various atrocities on the Eastern Front, contributing to the controversial nature of Steiner's career. As the war neared its end, Steiner's influence diminished, and he found himself at odds with Hitler's leadership. In the closing days of World War II, Steiner's forces were unable to fulfil the unrealistic expectations placed upon them during the Battle of Berlin. The ill-fated Steiner's assault was a desperate attempt to counter the overwhelming Soviet advance, but it ultimately proved futile. As the war came to an end, Steiner was taken into Allied captivity and faced the consequences of his association with the Nazi regime. Felix Steiner's life and military career encapsulate the complexities and contradictions of an individual court in the turbulent currents of 20th century history. While celebrated for his military achievements, Steiner's legacy is forever entwined with the darker aspects of Nazi Germany, highlighting the moral ambiguities inherent in the lives of those who served under the swastika. Thank you so much for your kind words. I truly appreciate it.